Welcome ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to evaluate a logarithm without a calculator. Now what I'm going to do for this video is do some logarithms that are pretty simple and I think once you, as long as you understand what a logarithm represents and what it means and what it says when we have a problem, um, then I think you'll be okay for, for this video. So basically when we have a logarithm, for instance let's just use log base b of a, what exactly this is saying and what exactly we're expecting you know, to evaluate this is what we're asking is b raised to what number is a. So a lot of times we write that in our exponential form, which would say b raised to what number is, which would be equals a. Now a lot of times, um, so a lot of times, b raised to what number is a? That's how we can write as an equation. So let's just look at something that's very simple. Uh, I don't think I did this yet. OK, so we have log base 2 of 4. So what this is saying is 2 raised to what number gives us 4? So 2 raised to what number is 2 raised to what number is 4? Well, hopefully you guys know that 2 multiplied by it raised to the second power is 2. So therefore, the answer for that would be 2. Okay. Now, we're not going to go through all those details, but a lot of times that's what we're basically saying. And for all these problems, that's exactly what I'm going to be thinking about is what I'm going to raise. So in this example, this is saying 3 raised to what power gives us 9? Well, we know that we can rewrite 3 to the second power equals 9. So 3 raised to what power gives us 9? So our answer, the evaluate, is just going to be 2. In this example, 5 raised to what power gives us 25? Hopefully you know that 5 squared equals 25. So therefore, we say 2 is our answer. Again, just like the last one. So I try to do some kind of like simple ones here. Um, and then we get into like 4 and 64. And some of you might not remember 4 raised to what number gives you 64. So if you get stuck with a lot of these, um, what I would do is just start listing out 4 raised to all these different powers. So 4 to the first power is 4. 4 to the second power is 16. 4 to the third power, now you might have to use a calculator, but 4 times 4 is 16, times 4 again, guess what, is 64. So therefore, 4 raised to what power gives you 64? The answer is 3. Over here, again, 2. You might know that 2 squared you know, is equal to 4. Uh, you might know, remember, 2 cubed is equal to 8. But you might forget, you might not know if it gets up to 32. So let's, again, just write them out. So again, you know, it just takes a little bit of time. But once you get used to once you get used to using working with these numbers, everything will start coming together, and you'll start remembering a lot of these, and you won't have to write them out every single time. So remember, two to the fifth is two times two times two times two times two. You could also type it in your calculator, but you see two raised to what number gives you thirty-two? Without a calculator, I can determine that's going to be five. Okay. Um, over here, I have log base three of eighty-one. Uh, I went to 3, so I didn't continue that. So let's do 3 to the first power is 3. 3 squared is 9. 3 cubed is going to be 27. And 3 to the fourth power is 81. And again, you might just have to type in your calculator. Type in your calculator, you know, 3 cubed, 3 to the fourth, until you really get really good, to, uh, good at these. Um, 10. Now, these are, this is always a great one. Uh, log, oops, I don't think I had to suppose to 10 there. I was supposed to t tell you, remind you that when you have log of, looks like 10,000 here, remember that has a base 10. So again, 10 to the first power is 10. 10 squared is going to add an extra hun a zero, so that'd be 100. So 10 cubed is going to be 1,000. Well, if I have to do one more, therefore that's going to be 10, that's going to be to the fourth power. I'll do this one first, and then I'll get to these last two. Um, here I have log base 6 to the 216. Again, I don't remember 6s. I did. I tried to stick with the 2, 3s, and 4s. Those are kind of the most common. Um, and 5, but I didn't do a 5. I did 1, 5. I should have probably could have done a harder one. But anyway, 6s. 6 to the first power is 6. 6 squared is 36. 6 cubed might have kind of got by your body. I don't know what 6 cubed is. Well, guess what? It's 216. If you type in your calculator, you'll be able to see. So again, what the logarithm is saying is 6 raised to what power? 6 raised to what power gives you 216? Well, that is 3. All right. Now, the next two um, are ones that, again, if it, as long as you say them out loud as far as what the logarithm means, you know, I think they'll make more sense. 
7 raised to what number equals 1? Well, <laughs> it kind of gets tough here because if you did like 7 to the first power, that equals 7. If you did 7 to the negative first power, that's 1 over 7. So what number, when we raise it to a power, is going to equal zero, is going to equal 1? Well, I just kind of misspoke there. Not really misspoke, but the answer, is, again, is going to be 0. Because any number, any number raised to the 0 power is going to equal 1, always. And this is the last one. I have log base 11 of 11. So basically, I'm saying 11 raised to what number gives you 11? Well, um, we obviously show from this first one, you know, any number raised to the first power is just going to be itself. So therefore, the answer here is 1. Uh, I guess I could have done one of those. That would have been too bad. Yeah, well. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you evaluate logarithms, um, basic, simple logarithms, without a calculator. Thanks.